Good morning, good afternoon, and good day, everybody. David here. Now, in today's video, we're going to be revisiting a old build that's been one of my favourites for a long time now. And thanks to Solar 3.0, it has got even better. This thing is went to next level filth. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy it. If you do, a like is very much appreciated. Subscribe as well, and all that other YouTube stuff. <laughs> But without further ado, let's jump in and break this thing down. So for those that don't know, a little while ago, I did a build based around the BXR and the Arthritis Embrace with the throwing knives. And it was absolutely ridiculously filthy. <laughs> and like I said in the intro, it's been one of my favorite builds for a long time now, pretty much since that video came out. And that video also got a lot of interest from you guys. So I thought it would be good to showcase the next level of that with Solar 3.0. So, this is the new version. Filth 3.0.2, whatever. <laughs> so, as before, we are using the BXR Battler. With the battle rifle, you want the blunt execution rounds. This is the important perk. The rest of the setup, you pretty much just go what you want. Mine's just a really good sort of mid-max roll with lots of stability, so it just feels really good to use. But the blunt execution rounds, this allows you to two best people once you get a melee hit, so it doesn't need to be a kill, just damaging someone with a melee whilst they're within close radius to you. So this works with both your normal melee and also the throwing knives, which is the next part of the build, the Arthritis Embrace. So this allows our weighted knife to gain a second bounce, which is incredible. <laughs> that alone makes these ridiculously good in my opinion. You can bounce knives around corners and if you know the angles and stuff, you can just take people out. And then that, just hitting people, will allow you to have the um, blunt executions perk up on your BXR. But if you do get a headshot with this, it is an instant kill because the weighted knife is still an instant kill in the Crucible. But where this pairs really nicely with the BXR and pulse rifles in general is if you hit a full burst as a headshot, you activate the exotic perk of these gauntlets which allows the weighted knife to body shot people so it does enough damage to kill someone with a body shot. Now whereas before, if you got a body shot kill with the knife, you wouldn't refresh your knife because you would need the precision kill to activate the perk at the time that refresh your knife instantly. Now where this gets ridiculously filthy is with Solar 3.0 <laughs> and two key things. One is the Ember of Torches Fragment. So this allows you to um, hit someone with your melee and you'll gain Radiant. So again, this is powered melee attacks, not kills, so just hitting someone will make you Radiant. And with the knock them down aspect, Whilst Radiant, final blows with your equipped throwing knife, refund your melee energy. So this one does need to be a kill, not just a hit. But these activate at the exact same time, so if you hit him with the weighted knife, it's a headshot, you'll activate Radiant and you'll instantly get your knife back. But also if you have the buff up on the gauntlets and you hit a body shot, not only is it a kill, but you instantly get your knife back. So then you can get another burst with the BXR and activate the perk again and then get another body shot knife kill. This thing is ridiculous. <laughs> it's literally made this build just ridiculously feel thing. There's just no downtime to it now, which is awesome. So those are the basic things that you need to get it going. These are all easily obtainable so obviously the aspects and the fragments you get anyway and they're just there when you load up the game. The Arthritis Embrace you do need to do a legendary lock sector to get whenever the gauntlets are up just farm this and if you've not got this already it should be a fairly easy drop to get and then with the Battler you can obtain this still by doing the Dares of Eternity stuff. I can't remember off the top of my head if that is under the anniversary stuff and therefore you need the anniversary like DLC to obtain that. If you do and you're a free to play player, just use any pulse rifle and it will work the same. You just won't get the blunt executions part of the build, but just the throwing knife kills 
things like still works so that part of the build is still completely available to you and is still ridiculously fun and powerful now let's go through things that take this to the next level and things that will just make this like more refined and even more awesome the acrobats dodge this makes you radiant so then you could also proc this to give yourself a damage buff on your weapon the lightweight pulses got a buff going into the season so they're even more consistent which is great just that alone makes these like far better than they were when i made the previous video but also being able to proc radiance now procking a damage buff just by dodging makes these even more consistent and also pushes the range out and all that other stuff more we want obviously want to use the weighted throwing knife but where this differs from before is that precision final blows immediately recharge your class ability now but then you'll be able to proc radiant again and again by getting the um, precision shots so this doesn't work if you're hitting the body shot even if you get the kill but um, it's just an extra benefit on the top we're just using the trip mines because I love them and then the on your mark because it allows us to get shed loads of fragments and also the handling buff that you get from this is ridiculous and you can activate it to times three just by dodging which is insane or um, you can refresh it from getting precision kills as I said before we're using Ember of Torches that's an important one all the others are sort of the cherries on top so Ember of Solace makes our Radiant last longer class ability recharges faster when we scorch people we scorch people with our trip mines so then that's just another way of getting Radiant back up Failure weapon or ability final blows extend restoration and radiant but because we're using the bxr and that's a solar weapon that extends it and also the getting all the knife kills and stuff that we're gonna inevitably get will also extend it so that's just a way again of keeping radiant up all the time and also restoration and then ember of searing defeating scorched targets grants melee energy so if we do somehow mess up the combo and we don't get our knife back or whatever or if we die at the same time and get like a trade then this is a way of us just getting our um like melee back a bit faster as before we'll pair this with a peace bond we have swashbuckler so we'll get swashbuckler times five when we get a melee kill because blunt execution rounds activates whilst it's stowed and doesn't go away you can have this out make the use of swashbuckler times five swap to the BXR and still have blunt execution rounds up because the buff lasts for 10 seconds so like it's just awesome <laughs> then we're using swift charge so this allows us to get charge of light with a double kill with either our sidearm or a pulse which is incredible and then also harmonic siphon so this will make an orb when we get a kill with a weapon that matches our damage type so again our BXR solar our subclass is solar so that will make an orb for us and because pulse rifle targeting is on the artifact mod that allows us to fit all of that stuff on uh, we're using high energy fire to make use of the uh, charge with light as always normal unflinching stuff and whatnot um, but we're also using invigoration because we're not using a special weapon we don't need scavenger mods and scavenger mods as of this season don't do anything in pvp anymore anyway so we might as well use this. This reduces our melee cooldown each time we pick up an orb. And we also have absolution, so all of our abilities cool down faster when we pick up an orb. We could go double this, but um, you get diminishing returns, so I opted for uh, different ones, because this still gives you some melee energy. Again, that's just another way of us getting our knife back faster if we somehow screw up the cycle. And it also helps get our trip mine back which allows us to apply Scorch to people, which will then activate the other fragments and stuff that we have. And finally, the OP thing this season, Clashy Restoration, so activating our dodge gives us restoration, and because of our fragments and stuff again, and getting uh, solar weapon kills, we can extend this restoration for um, a considerable amount of time. And then take in charge, so we also become charge of light by picking up those tasty orbs we make. Stat wise, you can pretty much go for what you want. I always go for high strength if possible. Again, that's in case we screw up the loop. I just like bounce stats across the board after that. 
and um, so fairly high discipline so our discipline and our strength more or less have the same cooldown on them and uh, you could go for super high resilience now and that will help battle uh, flinch and stuff it's just with the armor and stuff I've got um, I've not been able to get it and I still prioritize mobility and recovery more so so that's the build showcase so now we'll show um, it in full force in gameplay if this was filthy before this is just like next level so uh, it's been a hell of a lot of fun so before I let the live gameplay like play through and um, I just want to quickly break down just how consistent the BXR is since the lightweight pulse like buff it got at the start of this season it's just very very consistent now There's so many times before where you'll leave someone like with one HP or something and just a slight bump in damage numbers it's now got is it has made it so it's just a dueling monster it still excels at both aiming down sights and hip firing on consoles so you can see in this gameplay just it tearing through people and it pairs really well with the sidearm now because of the nerfs to special ammo economy uh, shotgun range and fusion range sidearms just have a bit more room to shine so this was a very strong build before in my opinion and it's just got even stronger now also as a side note if you don't like pulses crimson is absolutely filthy <laughs> and because it fires like a pulse rifle just the single burst still activates um, the throwing knife buff so crimson is also very very powerful with this uh, build and then you compare that with like a sniper or something if you wish but yeah with that little side note aside let's um, now jump into the live gameplay enjoy now this is the perfect map hopefully we get some filthy plays <laughs> but can you hold Trevor trees might as well make everyone radiant here and we're just gonna go straight across Throw that off that back wall there. Have we hit someone? Yeah. Get the AFK guy. that so let's rotate noise let's do that okay we should have BXR up which we do so we can now two burst that guy let's bounce that round there and <laughs> we got him <laughs> Oh, mate, I love this build. Got him. Got him. I love it. So that back there. I'm actually going to go. Where are you? Can proc that just in case. Nice blue, it saved me. Did not land my hip fire shots at all then. I would have died for show. Sure. Okay, we got him. There's quite a lot there. So. That was just unfortunate timing, but we're all right. We yeet that down there. Now what 
much. The flank. A few shots into him. Nice. Okay. Him. No, I got the wee run. Just before the mercy. And undefeated as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, that game. <laughs> Even though it was a mercy, like we made some cool plays. Got saved by the teammates a few times as well, but what a game. <laughs> uh, a few cool knife kills and stuff. Chef's kiss. I'm over the moon about that. Let me eat that. Yep. <laughs> Instantly got it back. <laughs> yes, teammate. No, teammate. Yes, teammate. <laughs> that was awesome. 